Hi everybody, Dan Moran here with Concierge Diamonds. A common question is, hey, which website should I use to buy a diamond? It makes me sad whenever you guys ask me that. Please don't do that. That's not the right way to buy a diamond. Don't go on Blue Nile, don't go on James Allen. I mean, it's fine to go and look, but it's just not the best way to buy a stone. So why not? Why shouldn't I leverage the power of the internet and crunch data to buy a diamond? Because unlike buying a car or a computer, Every diamond is different than every other diamond, right? If you look up the stats for a Chevy Malibu, everyone coming off the production line is identical to every other one. So it doesn't really matter which one you get. That's not true with diamonds. Each one is unique, has its own attributes, and even though two diamonds might be graded exactly the same, they don't look the same in real life. And you really can't get that information from a website. You can't buy a diamond by buying the certificate. The certificate doesn't tell you everything you need to know about the stone. A diamond is something you need to look at to understand it. So if you can look at diamonds yourself, that's the best way to buy a stone. If you can't look at diamonds yourself for reasons of geography or schedule or what have you, then the next best thing is to find somebody who's an expert who can act as a proxy for you and look on your behalf and leverage that person's expertise. So I really suggest that you find somebody you can trust to work with and then trust that person rather than buying from one of these websites. Because you need to understand as well that these diamonds that show up on these websites are often there because dealers like me have had trouble selling them through traditional channels. As you may or may not be aware, sites like Blue Nile don't actually own any diamonds. They're brokers. They call diamond dealers like me and say to them, hey, do you have any inventory you're having difficulty selling? We'll sell it for you for a commission, but you've got to be willing to sell it cheap. But why would I be willing to sell a diamond cheap? Only if I've had trouble selling it for what I consider its real value to be. So it's got to have some problem. Maybe it's hazy, maybe it's cloudy, maybe the luster is wrong. Maybe it has an ugly inclusion. For whatever reason, everybody I've shown it to face to face doesn't like it. So now I've got to dump it. I've got to get rid of my garbage. That's what you find on Blue Nile, it's other diamond dealers garbage. If you want to buy somebody's garbage and propose with it, I guess that's your right, but it's not the way I would do it. Uh, what about going to one of the big stores at the mall? Why don't you go to Kay or Zales or go to Jared? Everybody on TV says they want to go to Jared. Why don't you go to Jared? Well, the answer is pretty straightforward, I think. First of all, if you go and buy retail, you're gonna be paying retail price, and friends don't let friends pay retail. It's just not a good way to buy anything. But secondly, the inventory that they have at these big box mall jewelers is very, very limited, and it's all of a particular type, which is to say, cheap. Low quality stones where they can give you big flash for small cash, that's what they go for. It's not quality jewelry, generally. It's mass-produced, made overseas with the lowest quality stone they can find that still fits their description. So if you wanna pay full price for less than the best, by all means, go to the mall. So what does that leave you? It leaves you finding a jeweler you can trust and working with that jeweler. Whether it's me or not, find somebody you feel comfortable with, who you believe is being straightforward with you, who you believe is giving you the benefit of their expertise, you believe is your advocate rather than your adversary in the jewelry buying process and work with that person buying an engagement ring should be fun it shouldn't make make you feel like it's you against the world you should feel like your jeweler is on your team so find somebody who makes you feel comfortable and then work with that person i hope this helps thanks